everybody, it's Louis T here, and today the big question is, are you struggling to find those keywords that have low competition but high traffic volume? And that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm going to be explaining my personal method of how to do keyword research in 2017. So let me just get started and quickly I just wanted to say thank you so much for the response I got from my prior videos. Uh, you guys have been amazing and keeping up with my videos and, and like all the responses in the comments. It was just just good, some good stuff and I really would like to see more of that. If you guys have any questions for me um, and want some more insights on internet marketing and SEO especially, I can give you that. Um, I've been doing SEO for a little bit over six months now and I've learned so much. Uh, I've gotten some really good insights from top uh, SEO experts throughout you know, the country and I I've learned so much and that's why I'm here. I just want to share with you guys. So before I get started, I will mention the fact that I, I have a blog and I, I write about um, all of my SEO kind of adventures. So I'll put the link in the description. I hope you guys can check it out. Um, it's kind of fresh at the moment. It's just starting off because I, I had, I had written on it before, but ended up not renewing the domain. And just didn't really work on it much. I was working on other websites, so I'll put that in the description. Anyway, so today I wanted to talk about keyword research, and uh, for those of you who know what this is, it's basically trying to find those keywords that you can rank for on Google uh, without very much competition and I can tell you from experience picking the wrong keyword can leave you working on for months on end with no return on your investment so it is very very important that you guys are able to find the right keywords that you can put in your time and you'll get a return afterwards so I wanted to talk to you about the first thing is about difficulty in keywords right so there's different difficulties uh, like you you go on Google and you type in Apple laptop like that is a really really highly competitive keyword that is probably going to be just ranking for m big businesses like Apple um, so I want to go through kind of d these I, I got this from a forum and it's basically from super easy keywords to very hard keywords and I just wanted to explain and I'll put it on the screen for you like right over here and basically it's saying super easy keywords okay the top 10 results have no on-page optimization for the keywords and you can tell that the domain isn't strong okay a medium keyword the top 10 are all full on-page optimized and a couple of the domains are authority sites, okay? And I'll get into this later. But basically, it's authority sites are when the metrics of that website are, are pretty high. Like, the, the, there's terms called DA, okay, and PA, domain authority, page authority. And there's also trust flow and citation flow, which is very good to know um, in regards to the backlinks that are pointing to the site. And then we have very hard keywords, okay, where the top 10 are six or more are authority sites and they have very strong backlink profiles. Um, these are keywords that I highly recommend you stay away from. They can have a great return, don't get me wrong, there's really high volume, but they're really, really hard to rank for. And as a beginner in SEO, I highly... Um, like I will tell you just stay away from them period that's it so the question is how can you master keyword research okay um, how can you find keywords that you can rank for within 30 days on Google okay and I want to just quickly um, throw out some of the tools that I use for keyword research because I think using no tools and just using Google you can get by but it's going to take you a lot longer and um, some of these tools also have free trials so you can just give it a swirl try it out if you don't like it just don't use it anymore you know you don't have to you don't have to waste your time with it if you don't like using it but I have found um, that there's an there's an application called Longtail Pro and if you've heard of it you might think 
um, that it's no good. But trust me when I say that they have a lot of data and the um, putting in like a seed keyword, for example, I'll put some images up. Um, you put in a seed keyword, for example, pet food or, you know, best dog food, and it will come up with um, 10 different results that are related to that. And it will basically show you the difficulty, show you the, the competition, um, the volume, and basically everything that is important as to how you can rank and whether you can rank for it. So um, I use Longtail Pro to find my keywords and I found it to be one of the most powerful tools I've used apart from uh, SEMrush if you guys know what that is. So basically what you do is you just put in your keyword, uh, your seed keyword, and it'll come up with some results. And once you, once you go through, you need to find one. I'll show you on the screen right here. You need to find one that has good potential. So it needs to be low competition. And basically, uh, there's this term called KC, which is keyword competition. And uh, if it says a low KC, then you're pretty much, um, you're probably going to be able to rank for it. So I, re I recommend what you do is find some keywords on Longtail Pro that you think have potential. And then you go into the second step. So this step is very important. And it's as, as it's what I was talking about earlier. And that is um, the competition of like super easy or very hard. So I recommend you download um, the Moz bar. It's a free Chrome extension that allows you to go on the search engine results page. So the Google results page, and it'll show you the page authority and the domain authority. So this will allow you to basically further understand what your com like who your competitors are and whether you're going to be able to outrank them. So for example, I'll put an example on the screen right here and this is just for smart homes so if you go like um, best I, I typed in best smart home devices and it comes up with a list of uh, websites like CNET PC mag tomsguy.com all this stuff and you can tell straight off the bat page authority is almost a hundred on each of these other than the, the fourth one which has a low page authority but then the domain authority is also very very high so unless you have a very strong domain that has these metrics maybe you could out outrank them but i highly recommend staying away from that keyword so you just kind of have to go through longtail pro find a potential keyword go into google using the moz bar you'll see the domain authority and page authority and if you come across a keyword that all of the results on the page have low page authority and domain authority you're good to go put that keyword into your notepad, keep it, find another one. Okay. In the same niche or whatever. Like if you're, if you're doing a uh, dog food niche, you can find like 10 keywords. And what I like to do then is once I have a list of 10 keywords, I will then go into writing content about it and putting some more long, long tail keywords, um, and latent semantic keywords. So keywords that kind of relate to that, um, that C key, that main keyword. Um, so I, like I mentioned earlier, um, it, this is kind of the, the, I think the most professional way to find keywords. And then you can use SEM rush as well to plug in those keywords and basically further analyze what, whether that keyword is hard to, to rank for. So, what SEM Rush does, and they have prob they have, I think probably the most amount of data out of all the SEO tools online. Um, so you can go in, you can type in a keyword, and it'll come up with a page like this. I'll show on the on the screen right now, and it'll show you basically um, all of the the traffic volume, the competitors, how those competitors are ranking on Google. Um, you can even go deep and and. Um, find their backlink profile, which is very powerful, and then you can replicate that, or you can try to out outrank them with more powerful backlinks. So, um, with all that being said, keyword research is a very long process. 
um, one of which you need to know and you need to be able to do to rank, for example, an Amazon niche site um, or even just a simple blog that you're writing about. Um, Because what happens is with keyword research, if you if you're in a very competitive niche and you think like you're going to you're trying to rank for those very hard keywords, it's probably never going to happen. And even if you do get to the first page, um, you're going to get you're going to probably get pushed back um, further down the road. You won't stay there very long because it's really like the the amount of ad, ad ad spend on those large keywords is very high. And plus, Google's moving towards a more big company based search engine so they're favoring big companies more that's because they have more money to spend but if if you have if you're struggling with keyword research i highly recommend using this um and that is so i have a friend and he's doing a service online and he is literally the master of keywords i've used him multiple times and to be honest i've even started not doing my own keyword research anymore because of the fact that he knows way more about keyword research and all the updates that go into it and i i don't i don't specialize in keyword research i kind of do seo as a whole so knowing that he specializes in keyword research you know you're going to get the most out of out of his services and i'll put the link in the description but honestly i mean His services start around, I think, around $16, okay? That's a very basic service, and I've used the basic service plenty of times. It's it's by far, like, that's all you need. You can go more and get his his other packages, and that'll give you a little bit more in-depth details. But what he does is basically you give him a niche, you give him an industry, and he'll come up, he'll find those keywords that have low competition and crazy high volume. And if you know how to rank on Google, then you're set. You don't need to do any more research. You have those keywords that are basically gold mines already. So I will put that link in the description. I highly, highly recommend you use it because of the fact that it'll save you hours and hours on keyword research. And at the same time, doing your own keyword research can be expensive too. So I really recommend you you even give him a try. He can send you some sample um, content for like keywords he's done in the past. Um, but you'll see that he's he's really really good um, at what he does. So and um, especially for niche sites, I really highly recommend doing that because when you spend a lot of time working on your niche site, doing all the on page optimization, and you don't have enough time to do um, keyword research it's something that he delivers within 24 hours it's crazy like it you can build your website while you're building the, your website you put the order through the next day you'll have the keywords then you can start on the content and then you can start on the back linking so all this good stuff it's it's really really powerful and I highly recommend you try it out um, apart from that so that's basic keyword research uh, I do recommend that you kind of use Google Trends as well so Google's moving towards more topical relevance. So say you have um, like dog foods, um, and your your say your keyword is is some sort of like uh, brand for a dog keyword. They're gonna it's gonna be like a topical relevance. So basically, um, all the keywords that are really relevant to that seat keyword um, are keywords that you need. To put into your content and that'll make your on-page SEO a lot better so I'll go into further detail on on-page SEO but uh, for for basic conclusion what you need to do for keyword research is simple okay say you have an industry a niche that you would like to get into okay and and even if you don't have a niche I recommend using Longtail Pro to find a niche um, no matter what, you're still going to have to dabble and, and experiment and see uh, what keywords are, are low competition, high volume. So what I recommend is you, you go into Longtail Pro, type in some stuff, even if it's a very broad uh, term like basketball or soccer, 
type that in, it'll come up with results, okay? And then you click on this blue magnifying glass next to a keyword, and it'll come up with even more, even more specialized with that keyword that you, you clicked on. So once you find that, step two is going onto the Google results page, okay? It's so important that you go onto the SERP, the search engine of results page, and then use the Moz bar to find the domain metrics, the DA and PA, very important metrics for knowing whether you can outrank your com competition. So Longtail Pro and then Moz bar, which is two things that are completely free. You can use Longtail Pro completely free. And after that, what you need to do is incorporate your keywords onto your content and I'll go into depth on in that in another video because that's a whole different ball game is on page optimization but once you find that keyword that you see has very low competition and high volume trust me within 30 days if you use my backlinking methods you could easily rank for on on the first page of Google I'll show you some results I've gotten for keywords that have over a thousand monthly searches and I've gotten on the first page um, and it's quite simple. I'll go into my method of backlinking and um, ranking on Google in another video, but um, it's, it's really simple and keyword research is the main step you need to be able to, to grow a website online because without, key, without proper research, uh, you're gonna be spending a lot of your time uh, wasting on keywords that you know you can't rank for. So that is the end of my video i wanted to say thank you again for all the support and everything and i would love to see some comments down below if you guys would like i can uh you give me an industry you give me a a, a topic and i can do some keyword research for you guys just as a, a form of gratitude for for staying tuned and watching my videos so the first 10 people who comment on my videos with some with some uh, industry and or niches, I will do some uh, keyword research. I'll give you a, a, a detailed report on some uh, keywords that, that can be easily ranked for. Um, stay tuned for my next video. I'm going to be talking about uh, on-page SEO and then further on, I'm going to be talking about link building. So this is kind of uh, an ensuite for those of you who are getting into SEO, getting into ranking on Google. Uh, I will give I will give you all of the experience I've learned in the past six months, and even before that I was doing web design and stuff like that, and um, and I'll further explain everything from SEO to even email list building, which is really important too. So thank you again. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.